Let's look at some application questions using arithmetic sequence. And you know that this is the formula that we're going to be using, the TN formula, where TN is the nth term. So make sure you remember this, guys. TN is A plus N minus 1D. And you know that A is the first term, D is the common difference, right? So let's use that to try some application questions. I'm going to go straight into question 1. Let's read it together, guys. It says the population of ants is 20,000 in the first week and the population increases by 400 each week. So you can see that we begin with 20,000. Now, we're gonna be fi first finding the rule. So write the rule for the population um, in each week n. So we wanna keep it in terms of n, but we wanna write a rule for it using our arithmetic sequence. And it's definitely gonna be arithmetic, isn't it? Because it tells us that it increases by the same number, 400 each week. And that kind of links us with the common difference. You can see that the common difference is probably just 400, isn't it? So we're going to be using our formula, Tn equals to a plus n minus 1d. And guys, the first term is 20,000. See, it starts with 20,000 in the first week. So that's the, t, um, the first term, a. So 20,000 is going to be your a. And see how I replaced the d with 400? Because I've mentioned that 400 was the common difference. Every single week, it increases by 400. So that's going to be the common difference. So now, guys, let's just expand and simplify it and find the final rule. So I've expanded the brackets. 400 times n is 400n. That's going to be 400. And then you can see that 20,000 minus the 400 will give us 19,600. So it's just 400n plus 19,600. That's just our rule. We can't simplify that any further. So that's the rule for Tn. Now what we want to do in part B is asking us when will the ant population double in size? Now, the ant population was initially 20,000. If it doubles in size, it would be 40,000, isn't it? So we want to know when the Tn, which is this one here, equal to 40,000. Now, I'm just going to simply use this one here because we've already simplified it, so we might as well use that one, right? So I made that equal to uh, 40,000, and we just solve for n. It's as simple as that. So the 19,600, let's subtract it over to the other side, and you'll probably get a value of 20,400. And finally, to get n, divide both sides by 400, and we'll get n equals to 51. What does n equals to 51 mean? It means the ant population will double in size in the 51st week. So it requires that much time to make it double in size.